Hi, I'm Emily, and today I'm going to show you around the University of Sydney. There's a lot of history here at the uni, and you can't help but feel part of something bigger when you step on campus. One of the things that I really like about the university is the sense of community that exists here, and I think it's the grounds and the space that really allows that. Students used to play tennis in the middle of the quad right here. Today, this space and the surrounding lawns are a place for teaching, events, lots of great photo opportunities, and of course, hanging out with friends. You can see why this whole place is known as the Oxford of the Southern Hemisphere. And this is the Great Hall, the first and last stop for a lot of students, where we have graduations and welcome new students from overseas. If you look up, you'll see 12 carved wooden angels. They're carrying books and scrolls inscribed with symbols referring to the arts and sciences. There's a lot more history here, like this. This is the Anderson Stewart Building formerly known as the Old Medical School. This building is home to the university's first human dissection labs. Since then, our network of clinical schools has grown to include 10 major metropolitan and rural teaching hospitals. And it's not just health and medicine with campuses all around. About 70 kilometers that way, you'll find our Camden Farms. Aside from agriculture and vet students getting hands-on with plants, crops and animals, you'll see plenty of wildlife with regular visits from the locals. The uni has 18 farms in New South Wales, spanning over 12,000 hectares. The university's Westmead campus will open its new education and clinical facilities in 2021. In all these places, health students will get to be in real life clinical settings from their first year. And then there's this. This is the Susan Wakel building. It brings together all the health disciplines under the one roof. Inside, there are brand new simulation facilities, a multi-service clinic and a rehabilitation gym, as well as teaching, research and support spaces. Speaking of gym spaces, there's no end of sports facilities at the uni. There's the Sports and Aquatic Centre, an indoor climbing centre, tennis courts and squash courts. Any type of sport goes on here, including, of course, Quidditch. <laughs> the university's facilities are one of the best things about studying here, especially places like this, the Abercrombie Building, one of my favourite study spots and home to our business school. The views of Sydney at the top are also pretty cool. I find my experience studying at UCSD very engaging and rewarding. I get to meet people from all over the world and make friends with them. For myself, learning on campus really motivates me to find the areas I'm truly passionate about. Here's Sydney College of the Arts brand new facilities. It has traditional fine arts and crafts, film and digital labs. You can create almost anything here, both physical and virtual. Then there's the new multi-purpose social sciences building. Near the social sciences building is Courtyard Cafe. It's a great place to have a drink and catch up with some friends. There's no end to great cafes and shops around campus. And you get to Courtyard Cafe via the legendary graffiti tunnel and a place for creative expression. You can spray paint, write slogans and create street art. It's a use of students rite of passage. Just here, researchers and students are deepening their knowledge of the tiniest things in the universe at the Nanoscience Hub. And this is the Quantum Lab, the clean room, where every 68 seconds, all the air is replaced completely. Not a single stray hair is allowed inside. This is Fisher Library. With around 5.2 million items, the University of Sydney has the largest academic library in the Southern Hemisphere. The library has an incredible range of rare books hidden down here and I've always loved checking them out. Some of them are over 500 years old. And then there's the facilities for our law students. How's this for a study spot? Or the moot courtroom to prepare for the real deal. But you're probably not coming to uni just to see the books, but to actually do things, make things, experiment. The university has heaps of facilities, workshops and labs for any discipline. Just inside here is one of Australia's best equipped fabrication and prototyping labs.
The Design, Modelling and Fabrication Lab, we say DMAF around here, includes a wide range of robotic arms, 3D printers, laser cutters and basically a whole lot of cool stuff, but I better leave it to the experts to use it. You'll get in the field experience and interact with new and diverse environments, all without leaving campus. I love that there are so many cool things that I can use in order to explore my creative side and create these amazing works of art. Just a few minutes walk along City Road and you'll find the newly built Life, Earth and Environmental Sciences Building, home to some of the many science labs we have on campus. Our immersive learning lab is the largest of its kind in Australia. There are several new precincts that are opening soon. This engineering precinct is opening in 2021. It may not be finished just yet, but trust me, it's going to look like this. I think the best thing about studying engineering at USAID is definitely the fact that you're learning under one of the best faculties in the world and using top-of-the-line infrastructure every day. This is the Conservatorium of Music, and here you will truly experience the music industry in action. It's home to five performance venues, like this, the Verbruggen Hall, sound mixing studios, and not to mention some world-class talent. And it's also located right next to the Sydney Botanical Gardens and Sydney Opera House. Pretty incredible. One of my favourite things about living and studying in Sydney is being able to be so close to the city, but also a bus ride away from the beach. If you want a break from your studies, you can always go to the beach with your friends and have a chill time. That's what's great about the main campus. It's only a 10 minute bus ride from the centre of Sydney. It's only a 20 minute walk from Central Station to the university as well, so you're pretty much at the centre of everything here. I like to mix it up. Sometimes I get the bus and the train, sometimes I get the ferry if it's a nice day, or I drive. You want to make sure your time at uni is one to remember, and that can start with where you live. There are two main kinds of accommodation on the Camperdown Darlington campus. University residences like this one, the Queen Mary building, or residential colleges. Rich in history and tradition, every college offers a living experience that will let you study and enjoy a busy social calendar. They offer three catered meals a day, laundry services, and a strong support network. I think living on campus has really helped me grow as an individual and have a community, a home away from home. So I'm really grateful for the convenience, the community, and the confidence I have in the staff to help me through my journey. And your university experience won't be anything without all the incredible opportunities to make friends. There are so many clubs and societies that you can get involved with on campus. I personally, as a media student, have loved getting involved with things like reporting for the student newspaper on Isoir, doing student radio at Surge, and getting involved with the Media and Communications Society. That just scratches the surface of why the University of Sydney is such a great place to pursue your studies and follow your interests. I hope we'll see you on campus soon.